background. Let me uh, bring him on stage. Let's click in here. Here we go. Hi, Phil. How are you? Liz, hello. It's good to meet you. It's great to Likewise. be here. I'm <laughs> very excited to have you here. Um, Hub is a platform I've known for many, many years. Love what you guys are doing, um, constantly evolving and growing, which is super exciting. So I'm going to uh, hand it over to you to introduce Hub for the next eight minutes or so, and then we'll swing back for some uh, Q&A. Good. No, I, I appreciate that. And Liz, maybe I should just let you give the presentation. It sounds like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you might do a better job of pitching this than me. But, <laughs> you know, as I go through this, I, I hope that I can uh, really share two themes that I'd like this audience to come away with. The first one is that whether your event is virtual, in person, or a combination of either, which is our new uh, word, is uh, well, I shouldn't say our, our old word that's getting used a ton, a hybrid, uh, Hub is an ideal solution. And the second theme is, is that we can be a self-sufficient uh, as you want it to be. And, and so as I go through the slide deck, I'm going to share some things, but I want you to come away with those two themes afterwards. So, uh, in, and if you would advance it to, for me, Liz, thanks. So this is a really interesting slide, and there's a lot of information here, but I think it, it, uh, it, it helps us to visualize really how and why Hub is such a great virtual platform, regardless of your event requirement. So if you're in person, there are specific needs and there are specific requirements for in-person events. Some of those things might be the use of a mobile app, which we include with every virtual uh, uh, platform and, and which we include use of Hub every time. Uh, there's maybe booth selection. There are things like digital signage. Those are things that are available and accessible through the Hub platform. Then on the virtual side, we all obviously understand a lot of those things, but a couple I'll call out here that are pretty interesting that are, that are worth mentioning are first of all, you have to have all of the engagement uh, capabilities. So there's gotta be the chat, there's gotta be evaluations, there's gotta be gamification, there's gotta be networking, and there's gotta be in meetings and an opportunity for your attendees to connect with each other and to connect with exhibitors. Those are things that have to be supported in a virtual environment and as long or as, as well as the branding. And we'll go through the branding here a little bit, but you gotta make sure that your event is a continuation of whatever branding experience you want to create and provide your attendees, your virtual platform has to support that. 3D, 2D, whatever it might be. And we'll talk about some of those things a little bit further here in another slide. But what pulls those two together is with the hybrid components. And these are requirements regardless of, of whether it's an in-person or virtual event. Things like staffing uh, management, um, uh, things like registration, things like speaker management. And people have known Hub for many years and know that we are a great content management system. We manage and we own that workflow as well as anybody. But in, in addition to that, we can provide a lot of capabilities around managing your, your meetings and managing your, your, your staffing and things that can really create value to your events. When you go to events and you have the opportunity to meet with consultants um, and, and really manage that at the, at the level and, and capability you want to based on attendee types and other things, that drives tremendous value to your event. And, and, and that's, uh, those are some things that Hub does. Now, I mentioned one of the things that I wanna make sure we're really clear on is the ability to you, for you to be able to manage these yourself and be completely self-sufficient. So we do that in, in, uh, and allow you to do that in a very easy to use and intuitive uh, backend capability of our system that uh, allows you to own as much of, of this uh, setup and configuration and management as you want to. Um, go ahead and, and advance that, Liz. Um, and, and one of the one of their idea I want to make sure it comes across here is that we're, we're we're talking to clients right now who know they have an event, they think it's going to be hybrid, but they're not sure yet. So maybe next spring is like, listen, we want to go hybrid, but we're not sure. What is the safest route for you to take? And I love the concept of event insurance, and Hub really provides that level of of event insurance. So regardless of what your ultimate experience has got to be whether it's going to be a, a pure virtual or it's got to be hybrid or, you know, maybe it's going to be, hey, we want to go purely in person. Hub is a solution that, that can support you regardless of that type. OK, so it's that all in one kind of concept theme. And, and if we think about Hub, we can really think of uh, Hub in these six pillars. First one being registration. That's your first touch point. How easy is it for people to come in and register for the event? How well can you capture their attendee types and other valuable information about that attendee? that's gonna really drive that overall experience within the event itself. Uh, becomes really, really critical. So you want to be able to control con access to your content. 
You want to be able to control maybe who gets access to meetings or who can book meetings with whom or what types of meetings or how many meetings. That's valuable information that's acquired through registration that, uh, that, that Hub does really well to make sure that you can create the right event experience you want to. Sponsor and exhibitors, obviously we have to drive value to your sponsors. And so we do that through uh, providing great analytics into, uh, into all interactions within a virtual booth. And that information can be made available through an exhibitor resource center. So the exhibitors have access to that data. Uh, they know who is wanting information, who's requesting information. They know how many people have come to their booth and watched their video or engaged in chat or whatever other types of uh, engagement opportunities there might be, downloaded resources, whatever it might be. Staffing and meetings management, the digital experience, uh, mobile app. As I mentioned early on, we do provide a mobile app that's part of our, our platform. So whenever you use Hub as your event management system, we do provide a mobile app. And the beauty of our mobile app is that it combines the, the experiences together. So we've been at events where there's been a mobile app for your um, uh, in-person attendees, and there's been a mobile app for your virtual attendees. It doesn't really create a very contiguous uh, experience. So um, with Hub, we eliminate that uh, potential issue and problem. Um, so go ahead and uh, advance if you don't mind, Liz. So first of all, you need to make sure that is, you have very distinct and, you, and specific branding opportunities. So whether you want something completely customized, which you're seeing a screenshot here of a very tailored uh, event experience, um, we can do that. And so again, your event becomes an extension to your brand. And we want to make sure you understand that Hub has the ability to support a 2D, 3D customized experience. Uh, and really, whatever you can come up with the design, Hub can support. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, but even maybe even more importantly is we give you the ability again to manage this on your own. So we have built-in templates at Hub that allow you to, uh, to select uh, your, your particular theme and experience and then apply your own uh, color schemes, your own typography to that template. And so again, if we want to provide something that's simple, that's cost effective, that's, that can be replicated across many events over extended period of time, Hub gives you that ability to manage your all your events simply cost effectively using your uh, using the template and and making sure you can still brand this thing appropriately uh, and and using the right uh, color schemes and typography and so forth. Uh, next one, please. And and the last uh, the last slide I'll touch on here um, is just I think the the flexibility around uh, the content and the video capability now. Um, you saw in the very first slide that Hub is now a part of Notified. We were acquired by Entrado in, in, a, in last August, just over two months ago. Uh, and bringing the two companies together where Entrado has this amazing uh, webcasting capability that now is integrated in the Hub platform. We have built-in webcasting and live streaming capability. But uh, in, even in addition to that, with all the amazingness that comes with, the, with uh, Entrado's now Notified as we rebranded the company, capability, we have the, um, the ability to support multiple different, uh, uh, really, video solutions. And so if your video needs are purely um, on demand and they're pre-recorded sessions, or you want to want to create some simulive experiences where you're showing pre-recorded, you want to have live Q&A afterwards, um, we have the ability to support those things and show those and support those in embedded experience within the help platform. So you don't want people uh, having to leave the platform. You want them to be able to experience the, those things in the platform, and those are things that Hub is able to do. So we're very, very flexible around the types of uh, video experiences that you can really have within the Hub platform. So go in advanced, uh, if you don't mind, uh, Liz. And, and that kind of wraps up my, my brief slide uh, presentation. Um, again, I want to make sure you kind of got the theme of what we what um, what Hub can do for you is really be an all-in-one solution, regardless of your event requirement needs, virtual, in-person, or a hybrid combination of the two, and that we really can provide you a self-sufficient uh, solution if you want to be really uh, self-sufficient in managing and 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 utilizing the Hub platform on your own. So, Liz, I'm happy to take any questions that might come up. Perfect. Thank you. I love how you streamlined this and gave people two major things to think about because there's there's a lot of information we're hearing today. Um, and I want to go back one slide just on my own. I'm very interested in this. And I see Francis as, as someone who's worked in webcasting for a long time. This is what she was talking about is very exciting. Uh, 
I'm a StreamYard user primarily because it's very easy to use, but I love seeing that um, platforms are integrating more and more their own like native web streaming platforms with the abilities to do lower thirds and overlays and all of these things that you're talking about. That, that TV style production is something that event planners are pretty much obsessed with these days. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've got to figure out how to do it. Um, so thank you for making this easier for us. I can't wait to check it out. I've been a huge fan of Hub for a long time, but haven't tried your webcasting yet. So my talk- well, my you know, We used to kind of position Hub as, hey, we're agnostic and it doesn't matter who you have, you know, and we could work with whomever, which was a fun story to tell, but it was yeah. also limiting to, in our story. Yeah. And, and, and it hurt us in a number of uh, situations where now we're still have the ability to be agnostic, but we have this built-in capability that we didn't have before that is really pretty exciting. And for me coming from Hub and, and now knowing what we can offer through this built-in kind of webcasting capability, I get super excited because uh, it's really impressive. And, and it also uh, can really allow you to be self-sufficient in its usage as well too. Absolutely. Uh, so one person is asking self-service for full service. You talked a lot about kind of being able to do this on your own. What kind of support does Hub offer to planners? Oh, good. Yeah, good question. I appreciate that. So uh, I think one way we can do that is, first of all, our, we have a, a really kind of a, a cool process when we onboard our clients. Um, we make sure we understand what the experience is, what your usage is, and that uh, we know if you want to, uh, really to be self-sufficient in, in the product and in usage of the system. Uh, we have a training and onboarding strategy and process to make sure that our clients are up to speed in the usage of the system and how to set it up and configure it. So we go through a rigorous training uh, with all of our clients to make sure that they're they're up to speed uh, to the level that they want to be. We support them through those things. We have online chat support that uh, we provide during uh, the event itself. Um, but we really make sure and can provide the training uh, that our clients need to ensure that they know how to use the system uh, themselves. And the full backend capability, if I jump in the back end and say, okay, here's our, our sophisticated back end, uh, our clients have access to that. And they have the ability to go into each session and say, I want this session to turn on at this time. I want my chat to be moderated. I want, uh, uh, I want to utilize this streaming solution coming from uh, this source, whatever it might be. And you can get really detailed. And I want only these attendee types to get access to this session. And I want the video to be turned on at this time. So you have that level of detail that you can uh, create uh, with within your event experience. Yeah, we know planners like to make things complicated <laughs> or, you know, very customized, which so it's nice to have that functionality that each session can really be different because we're really customizing yeah. something and creating something that is custom for our attendees and, and different session types is very important, different at attendee groups super important. Um, I do you see the question? Can you talk a little bit about pricing? Is it based on number of events, number of people, how much customization is required? Like, do we have to keep upgrading uh, general structure since I know this changes and depends on a lot of things, but what can you share from pricing? All right. Well, I love this. I love that person's name, the cool struggler. So let me see if I can <laughs> help you with that. Uh, our licensing is really based on usage. So our usage uh, and variable uh, usage items are typically registrants. Uh, sessions and a and number of exhibitors. And so we can scale up and down uh, based on those three components. So those things will determine it. Now we have lots of different add-ons and things we can add to it. You know, if you want different meeting types, if you want to uh, like executive meetings and you want expert meetings, or if you want things like um, whatever, you know, um, customizations, you know, those are, those are things that we can do and add to it. But our licensing is pretty simple and straightforward. It's based on Number of registrants, number of sessions, and number of, uh, of, ex of uh, exhibitors. Okay, perfect. Uh, one last question. We only have a few seconds left. Do you have the ability to integrate with CRM or other third-party systems? I know. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that because, you know, Hub has always kind of lived in this ecosystem where we've had to integrate with maybe registration solutions. We've had to integrate with mobile apps. We've had to integrate with maybe on-site systems. We, we, Hub has always been a, an amazing source of truth. And so when you go through registration experience, that information flows into Hub. We've then become that source of truth. And, uh, and then and we do that because we have a great API and an ability to work with third-party applications. Now, we have a great mobile app um, that we provide. But if you have a mobile app that you have to use, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a registration uh, uh, right already and you got to use that registration solution, 
uh, no problem. We can integrate with that registration application. So we've lived in this ecosystem where we've had to work with third parties and we do so, but we also try and make it as simple as possible for you to use uh, a hub as much as possible. Perfect. And I do, before we want to go, I want to highlight this event that you guys have coming up October 26th at 11 o'clock PT time. Um, we made this little bit.ly. So go to bit.ly slash hub event to register for how to be a content hero. Like many of the organizations we've talked today, you guys are doing so much education for the events industry. And if there are any planners on here who are feeling lost, there are so many resources out there to help you figure this out and really figure out how to do better for your clients. And so we We'll share this event on social as well, but so that everyone can see and join here as well. Well, thank you, Liz. And Liz, listen, you've got, an, a great, uh, you've got an amazing event here. So thank you for letting us be a part of it. And you're doing a great job here. So we are just grateful to be a part of this and to support this. So thank you. Thank you. So excited to have a great company showcasing what they do so more planners can work with the best and, and, and wade through you know what we all know is a, a crazy world of not so great options sometimes. So 